Hey, how's it going guys? It's Moose Mouse. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my trading process and hope it helps some of you get started on getting that knife for almost nothing. So before I start showing you any of my procedures or process, this is my trading history and I'm kind of taking a break from this trading or video game. So you might, you might not see me doing a lot of videos for the next um, few weeks because school just started and for those of you that are in college I hope you have a great quarter and great semester get those A's people get those A's so along with that the last trade I made was an AK-47 red line field tested condition which is worth about nine dollars and I traded up to a stat track USPS Kaiman well worn which is around 11 no uh, 1050 or 11 dollars and similar trades with the other stuff. Most of these I don't really lose value and I generally gain value. Okay, so now that you have an idea of my trading history, um, how to get started on yours. Step one, very simple. Simply go to your inventory because you wanna go ahead, check your treasure chest and see what kind of things you have available for trade. And what generally I do is I'll find something that I want to trade with. So I'm just going to go ahead and I guess use a stat track USPS Blood Tiger. It's worth about $1.20 or I'm just going to round it off to 1.25 as the American currency we have quarters. So $1.25 and you want to add around 40 cents or 50 cents to your item. So 125 plus 40 that's 165 so 165 is your target is your target value that you want to go ahead and trade up for 165 to 175 we'll just we we'll actually put a 175 to be safe so what's the next step the next step is going ahead and finding things that are in that price range so 165 175 again that's the magic number we want to trade up for and all you got to do is go to the market and you go to the market you collect you search by game and then you want to toggle the price to sort it from the lowest to highest price now then you might say well there's 380 odd so pages how are you gonna scroll through all those pages and get to the correct dollar amount that you you know for the item that you want to trade up to and whatnot it's pretty simple once you sort it by price by clicking this button your URL for the market should be something like this steamcommunity.com slash market slash search question mark app id equals 730 um yeah a whole bunch of other stuff the part you want to pay attention to is p it'll be p1 once you start that's page one and generally around page 190 that is around two dollars you know almost two dollars and um 250 is around I think six dollars or seven dollars so you can just jump to pages using this method and this is all accessible in your URL so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this if you don't believe me put it in my URL press enter and voila we're on page 250 right here I'm gonna go back to the previous page as this is the one dollar sixty five cent one dollar seventy five cent market that or range that we want to target so then step two, well, this is pretty much step two. You find the, the items. So now that you found your price, step two is finding the items that you want to go ahead and trade up for. And now that you found the items that you want to trade up for, step three is simply going on to CSGO Lounge. And that is CSGOLounge.com, just like that. Now, once you're at CSGO Lounge, you can go ahead and sign in using your Steam account. And this is a trusted website, so you don't have to worry about um, getting your account fished or something like that. It's not a phishing link or anything. It's a legit website. A lot of people use it. You can go ahead and bet on games on here. If, um, if you always heard about CSGO skins betting and you never heard, you, you've always been wondering where that term came from. Now you know, this is the website to go to if you want to go ahead and trade or bet. But I generally use this website for trading. I don't use it for betting because I tend to lose. <laughs> so now what do you do? You go ahead and click add trade once you signed in. And before 
you actually do any of this, I think it's good to mention that you want to go ahead and add your Steam profile link, your third-party trade link, and um, these two links are should be the same, or else it won't work. Um, yeah, and you also want to get like reputation and everything. I guess like on CSGO Lounge, people are kind of mean and whatever on it, or not really mean, but it's just like people can just do a minus rep for no reason. Uh, obviously, I'm not a not a bad person or a bad trader. As I'll go ahead and show you uh, my profile that I've got plenty of plus reps, and I actually only care about the plus reps on my profile as opposed to my CS:GO Lounge profile. It'd be nice to have both, but I, it's just a big hassle because once you do a trade, it's kind of awkward to tell the person to go back to your CS:GO Lounge and give you a plus rep there. But either way, um, we're gonna go to add a trade. Find the weapon that you wanted to trade. Ours was a Bullet Tiger Minimal Wear. You can add some notes here, say some random stuff or whatever. And remember that ours is a dollar and twenty-five, or a dollar and twenty-five cents or something like that. We rounded up, and we want to be trading around one sixty-five to one seventy-five. So you want to have around, you know, you can go ahead and choose up to the maximum six numbers of items that you want to go ahead and trade for. This is the trade for area. So, one thing that I saw already was the Blood Tiger Factory New. Just go ahead and search Blood Tiger Factory New, click it, and Griffin Minimal Wear. Minimal Wear. Just scroll back a page, forward a page, it doesn't really matter. You can do Og Torque, Field Tested. Yeah, sometimes, you know, the value is not exactly spot on, but this is all so you can get like a ballpark. But the main thing to take out of this is to make sure that your weapons that you want to trade for are definitely worth more than your current item. So you can like choose up to six using this method or whatever. Uh, what I like to do is I always like to leave one blank spot and do any offer. This will generate more compatible trades as a lot of people would do any offer for a um, for, for the weapon that you have so it, it's a lot easier finding people to trade with I'm not gonna do six I'm just gonna do four for the time uh, for the time uh, for the sake of time and all you gotta do is go to my trades click show matched and, and you know show all the trade results so not a lot of people will find this a you know a nice weapon to have and whatnot so you might be l lucky to find you know one or two people that want to go ahead and trade for the USPS Blood Tiger and another option you can go ahead and do is put your weapon in there put any offer and search this is just strictly using like utilizing the search process and it's the same thing that one person came up but the good thing about posting a trade is if somebody later decides that they want to go in a trade for your item they can contact you through here and let's see Let's see if we can actually find some scammers on here so I can go ahead and show you some of the things to watch out for. Um, so yeah, these are Steam offer buttons. You can go ahead and click it and you, by clicking it, you can go directly to sending them a trade offer. This is a good feature because you don't have to add them as a friend. So that's why, again, it's good to have your um, your links all set up. So this guy have negative 26 reps, and some of these weapons are definitely cheap. Like these, some of these are like really, like not definitely not worth trading for that. I mean for this for that if he's trying to trade up. So something's something fishy is going on here. We're gonna go check. See he only has one, and this is a common scam actually. You see this is a field tested. And what happens is, since he doesn't have anything else in his inventory, or maybe he'll have like four or five items in his inventory, what happens is a lot of people will commonly mistake this. And he's like, you know, click Steam offer, boom, oh, he only has one item, boom, drag, and boom, or yeah, whatever one of these items that he wanted to trade for, like drag it in. Supposedly, like, 
these are definitely worth a lot more than the field tester, which is only worth about nine dollars now. And that's how he'll make money. And it's a scam. That's why he has negative twenty six rep. Like if you have a lot of negative rep, that obviously means you're, you're a scammer or something like that. And yeah, so that concludes kind of my little uh, guide on how to get started with trading. Now, if you guys are interested with some other finer details on this trading process and everything, you can go ahead and send me a private message or just actually don't send me a private message. Go ahead and just post comments in the video description, right? Right under the comment that usually that YouTube generally generates on my behalf saying that like, hey, I shared it on Google Plus or something like that. Just go ahead and comment under that comment with your questions and whatnot, and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. So yeah, with that being said, hope you guys are having a great new year, great start off to the new year. I am still working on uh, on that giveaway and everything. I'm thinking about taking those two weapons from that giveaway and trading up a little bit more and uh, have backup copies of those weapons. So whoever is interested in keeping those um, skins once I do the giveaway, I can go ahead and hand those out or hand out something even better that I've traded up for. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked out the giveaway, I'll have the link in the description as well. You guys should go ahead and definitely enter on that. And yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, guys. I gotta go hit the books, finish some homework. Peace.